So yes, we're here today in Gaydon in Warwickshire. This is the home of Jaguar Land Rover Engineering. And we've launched Panasonic Jaguar Racing, our season four car here in the Jaguar Design Center. So only launched last week um, and the home of all our future new Jaguar cars. We can expect to see an even more competitive season this year. Last year, multiple winners in the championship came down to the last race in New York. And this year, two new manufacturers joined the championship, Porsche and Mercedes. So of the total of 12 teams, nine manufacturers and some of the world's best racing teams in the championship, uh, along with the best drivers. So even another level of competition. So it should be great for not only fans, but as race teams, it means uh, victory will, will mean even more. So we've been really pragmatic since returning to the sport three years ago. We've always had a very kind of clear plan and this fourth year back in the sport, likewise again, you know, we've, our first year was about just learning to compete. Our second year was about competing. Our third year was about competing for podiums and we did that last year. So for next year, it's basically having learned how to win last year with our first win and our first podiums. It's about achieving more of that, more points, more podiums and more wins. And having tasted champagne, we're really hungry for more. That first win in Rome for us was you know, a real vindication as a group, as a team. We really can compete right at the front and, and win races. And, and that, that boost of confidence is, um, is incredibly important. You, know, you talk about being a team that is capable of winning, but once you are winning, once you are achieving podiums, the confidence that brings for the team um, is, is immeasurable. Um, and that's kind of what last season was for, was for us, a really important foundation year that hopefully puts us on a platform for, a, for our best season today. So a big difference between the I-Type 3 and I-Type 4, in fact, for every year we've been in Formula E, we've introduced a brand new powertrain. So in four years, this is our fourth new powertrain, um, which means we've developed a new electric motor, a new inverter, a new rear casing, all our new rear suspension that goes into that, um, and indeed a next step of our software that controls the car. Um, for us, it's about leaving no stone unturned because in a championship where it is so close and so competitive, you have to make big steps as, as big as you can in order to, as a team like us, who's newer back into the sport, we're having to catch up and pass. So we have to make big steps and hence, yet again, we've put a huge amount of effort into an all new car this year. Yes, it's fantastic to announce that James Collado joins the team alongside Mitch Evans. Um, a difficult choice for us, you know, we wanted and want two drivers that can get as many points for the team. Our obviously goal is to, to be successful in the team championship as well as the drivers championship. Um, but James brings a huge amount of speed, a lot of natural raw speed, which is critical informally with our one lap qualifying format. Um, he's also had a very successful junior career, so a driver that has a lot of experience um, in dealing with high pressure situations and complex race strategy. And he combines that experience and that strategy with raw pace. And we believe he has the potential to be a, an absolute front runner in this championship. And we hope we give him the right tools to, to, to go on and achieve that. Being the first premium brand in Formula e and the first well, British manufacturer informally, having London come on the calendar for us is a really, really kind of exciting step. You know, since we've joined the championship, there hasn't been a, a race in the UK. So we're incredibly proud to be able to race in front of our, our home fans and also our employees. You know, uh, Jaguar Land Rover employs a lot of people in the United Kingdom, and it's great that you know, many of those employees will be able to come and enjoy and see us racing. And myself and the team will want to do the best job possible for our, our home fans and our colleagues. Last year was the first year of the new Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy, the main support championship to the ABB FIA Formula E. Um, it was a great year, a pivotal year for us, pioneering um, electric racing with a production car, a car you can buy in the showroom, proving its performance and capability on track. So for a world first for us here at Jaguar and something we were very proud of. Well, it's been fantastic to be able to launch Panasonic Jaguar Racing today here in the new Jaguar Design Center. Um, this new facility here in Gaydon houses just over 13,000 engineers um, and designers, people that are developing the future products for Jaguar and for Land Rover. Um, having these incredible facilities are really important for a company like us to maintain a leadership position um, and to build the next generation of, of Jaguars and Land Rovers, which can compete with some of the best cars in the world. And cars like the, the Jaguar I-Pace World Car of the Year shows we're a company that has that capability and with facilities like we have here now in Gaydon, um, it's a really exciting future ahead.